Hello and welcome to this episode and in this episode we discuss about white space in C programming language. So how do we handle white spaces in C programming language? Um, as you can see, uh, let me show you where we have white spaces in this program. For example, this space in here is called white space. This space is called white space. We can have a space in here. This enter line that we have, the new line that we have, this is also called a white space. If we have another line of code up to here, this is also white space. In here, this is also white space. Basically, everywhere that we have put some space to make the program readable, and that is called white space. So in C programming language, you can have as many white space as you want, but there is some things that you have to consider. For example, you cannot have a white space here between here and the integer. You cannot make it something like I and then NT. You cannot have this space in here because this will change the meaning of this integer, this int. This will become something else. It will become I and T and the meaning will be lost from the C programming language. So that will be not allowed, for example. Let's uh, clean it. But this white space in here that you can see, the end and after that main, you can have two, three, four spaces, as much space as you want. It doesn't matter for the compiler because the compiler does not consider the white spaces between these uh, keywords. So int is a keyword. After that, no white space is going to be considered. And after that, a main is going to be read by the compiler. So you can have a space, more space between these parentheses. You can have space in here, but not for the main. You cannot put something inside of the main word. You cannot put something inside of the void word, but you can put as much space as you want inside, inside of uh, these uh, parentheses, for example. The parentheses can, can start from here, then we can have space, void, and then another space, uh, and the parentheses. And you also should know that every statement that we have, and so this is a C statement, And all of the C statements, they end with a semicolon. So this semicolon is very important. It indicates the end of the C statement. So now, instead of having the printf in one line of code, in fact, we can have the printf in multiple line of codes as well. And that will be still, that, and that will be still correct and still recognizable by the compiler. So we can have print f and then we can have the parentheses starting from here, then our text and the even the, uh, the semicolon can end in here and then the end parentheses. And once the semicolon is read by the compiler, that means that this is the end of that statement. So this semicolon is very important because, because it shows the end of a statement for the compiler. The end of statement for a compiler is not shown by the white space. White space could be everywhere in our program and it doesn't mean anything for the compiler. The compiler basically ignores white spaces as much as it can. White spaces are important for us, for us humans, because it makes our program readable. For example, we can have this printf instead of having this white space that we have put in here. This indentation that we have, this is an indentation. And because we have a block of code, we have put some indentation to indicate that this block of code is in, that this line of code is inside of this block of code right that is the purpose of this indentation in here using spaces otherwise for the compiler it does not make any difference the only time that you have to be careful with uh, white spaces that is when you're dealing with uh, preprocessor directives so with preprocessor directives 
spaces in here for example you can have multiple spaces but then the preprocessor directive has to be on the same line you cannot have a space a new line in here if you put this stdio.h in here it will not be recognizable by the preprocessor so you have to have your preprocessors all of it in just one line of code but you can have spaces as much as you want you can have space in here you can have space in here you can have space in here and as much space as you want to have so basically the purpose of uh, white spaces and C programming language is for readability and nothing more. In some other program programming languages like Python, white spaces are mandatory and they show the structure of the program to the compiler. But that is not the case in C programming language. And, and you can simply use it however you want to use it. And we usually use it in a way that it makes our program more readable. So let's head to our computer and then we can see how the white space and inside of the text editor we can bring some changes and we can see how the white space can affect the output of the program or it cannot affect. We will see that on our laptop. So here we are working on the IDE and uh, this was the code that we had written. Now uh, let's uh, go and play with some white spaces in here. For example here in the preprocessor directive I can bring more spaces. Let go, let's go and execute, compile and run this program and then you can see that no changes, there was no error by bringing white spaces in here. So this is allowed. So let's go and make it normal once again or I can completely remove that space in there. Let's go and run once again. It's still it's going to be okay. I can bring some spaces in here. I can bring some spaces in here and still it will be okay. Okay. Now you see that it, that made a difference. Even I made a mistake because uh, the stdio dot the the name of the header in here is very important uh, between uh, these angle brackets. And uh, once we have brought some changes, even spaces in here, spaces uh, means uh, something else to the compiler. The compiler includes these spaces as the name of the header and that's why we cannot allow to have it in here or we cannot allow to have it in the middle of the name of the header that will create a problem for us too you can see the error message in here we got an error message let's go and make it normal once again and we've got our program now here in the main uh, function you can see that we can have more white spaces for example between main and end between these parentheses we can have spaces we can have spaces between the parentheses and the bracket and the bracket can in fact can come even here in this next line of code the printf as we said before can be in here and uh, the parentheses for the function can come to this line of code you can even move the semicolon to the next line of code and it will still show the end of statement so after the semicolon you can have a new line of code printf hello world 2 and then it's possible to have our next line of code after these parentheses after this semicolon and now we will try to run this program and you can see that the program ran successfully and there was no error and this is how you can play with white space to make your program more readable or less readable now for example we will remove all of the white spaces that are not uh, required let's go and remove every white space that we have in here that are not required so we can have in fact we can have all of this line of code in just one line and that will still work so yeah so even this line of code will still work without those many white spaces because this is still a recognizable and readable by the compiler let's go 
let's go and execute and now you can see that there was no difference made for the compiler but as we said before some things are important for example you cannot make like printf print and f this will make a difference it will it it makes a difference in the name of this function and it will create an error for us for example you cannot have the main function separated into two ma and n that will make a difference for the compiler <coughs> and it will result in two errors other than that as we said before we use uh, the white spaces to make our program more uh, readable and that's it for this episode i hope this has been informative for you and i would like to see you in the coming episodes stay tuned <laughs>